I've really enjoyed it. We've come so far and we've had so much. Had like lo loads of different ideas. Heritage to go Lottery Fund design. are really good at listening to what it, your it's ideas It's been a very entertaining better, evening. Better animals and, and a better environment for everybody. And I think people have enjoyed it. I think it's just really interesting. Tonight's been a celebration of all the projects that we funded in Burnley since 2008. We've invited lots of funded projects to come along with displays. We've asked a handful of people to come along and do presentations. We particularly try and encourage communities to come forward to develop project ideas. And in that time, we've awarded 26 projects. What's been amazing for me is when I look around the different projects uh, that are on display. I'm sort of innovative with it. more to this area than mills and, and pits. The stories and tradition of its diverse communities, our listed buildings and rural it's landscape. It's called Burnley in terms of its past, but also its future and its present. And this resulted in a piece of performance art. We realised that, that Burnley fans have stories to tell. You know, it's what it's what they do when they're in the pub together. They tell their stories. Got beer mats printed up and went into the pubs, gave all the beer mats out with a question on, saying, you know, why do you support Burnley? We've what do you what, some what fascinating do you do? stories about people? And actually, Burnley is very significant in the whole wider history of the gay rights movement in this country. We got a lot of support from the Heritage Lottery Fund, and we actually held a meeting in Burnley, and a group of local people came and said they were really interested in the heritage side, the history side, so we put a bid in with a lot of help from Rebecca and actually we were successful uh, in the bid. Drama, outdoor theatre performances, um, arts, work with the Canal and River Trust. We've run um, 63 events, uh, over 3,000 people have been involved in the project in one way or another. This is something that I've always wanted to do, canals a part of our heritage. Looking at the histories of the, the lives of the workers in Burnley's um, mills and factories and it kind of culminated in a celebration event at Burnley Youth Theatre. For the union we didn't know about all the other projects which are ongoing in Burnley. No, oh, it's been good. Really enjoyed listening to other projects and felt really inspired to get involved a little bit more. Had some brilliant feedback from people that said how, it, how much fun they've had they will know what value they have and they'll say, that's my park, I made that deal. It gave us the opportunity to do research the, the history of our building, which is a very old building. And we decided we should have a performance, so that's what we did, and we did loads of like research, like trips and like the 50-something interviews. I think we need to remember where we come from, where we, where we are and where we're going, because where you grow up makes you who you are in a way. It's going to give people new skills that hopefully they can take out into the wider world. They'll build new relationships. They'll get to understand a little bit about their communities. Job offers and volunteer work and all sorts of opportunities have arisen out of it, so it's been really good. Really got me into like creative and arts events in Burnley, and it's opened my eyes to all the good that's out there. It covers a breadth of things, so it can be built heritage, it can, it can be museums and art galleries, but it can also be oral histories, community histories, um, parks, landscapes, our waterways. So it really does cover the whole, whole gamut of things. I've just had one chap coming up, I've been inspired to do a project, I want to come and talk to you. So that for me is, is what it's all about. <laughs>